Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. Presentation by Chief Health Officer of the Southern Nevada Health District regarding opioids and public health prevention and discussion and deliberation to approve a letter of support for the Southern Nevada Health District's syringe vending machine initiative. I'm trying to establish and put into place um, a vending machine like we've started down in Las Vegas. Uh, generally, I try to tell you what I'm going to tell you, tell you, and then tell you what I did tell you, but I'll be very brief because there, there isn't much time this morning. We have found these vending machines to be very useful um, in Clark County. Uh, they're very helpful for people to come in and do a variety of things, exchange dirty needles for clean and to get other services while they're there, and that's the plan that we have. Uh, going on here. This would be our first expansion outside of Clark County. Um, I believe what uh, the slides will tell you as well is uh, that the only other place that we know of in North America that has one of these machines is in Puerto Rico. We have two or three machines down in Southern Nevada, but it's time that we really uh, expand out to rural Nevada so that we can help to prevent um, the, especially the um, the infectious disease of HIV or other bloodborne diseases that can be transmitted by reusing used needles. Um, we want to expand testing with this as well. Uh, we currently don't have naloxone, that's the antidote for an opioid overdose uh, in our machines, but we plan to expand to that. We do have a grant that we can do that. We do want to thank our other partners, and in this particular, Lyle Collins, who works at the Division of Public and Behavioral Health, um, but all of these other partners here. Do they have to pay to get to use the machine? No. <clears throat> so they just walk up to it and get whatever they want? They generally will register. This is the way we do it in Clark County. They register and they get a number that they punch into the okay, machine. That's, I've got the, it, it's all over Twitter down there. All the legal courtesans are pushing it like crazy, so I, I see it all the time. So Why Tonopah? Well, Tonopah, I mean, it's the geography. You're the biggest area here to help to serve Esmeralda County. Uh, putting something into a gold field doesn't make much sense to us. Um, and again, I just described how I realized that Nike, that uh, um, Esmeralda County is only a mile from where we are right now, that you're really a... Um, I think of you not as one county, as two counties, but you're really joined at the hip, almost as much as Pahrump is joined closely to the hip with us here in Las Vegas, there in Las Vegas. Okay. I want to offer to you that John Packham, who has been to see you as well, uh, and I would be happy to work with you on a community health assessment and improvement plan so that if this bill gets passed, we can make sure that uh, Nye County gets some of this funding. Fine. I don't believe it's going to be $5 per capita. It may be nothing, but at least it's the first step. And what I found with the legislature is you take a first step and then the next uh, legislature might get that. Okay. Thank you. The, oh, one last piece is that there is this survey, and I'll leave these copies here. Uh, we've sent it to you all to fill out. It's for another uh, program that we're working on to provide additional services okay. up here.